Uh, welcome back to Mobile Electronic Diagnostic. Uh, this is Muhammad Harun Idris. Please subscribe, share, and like. Today we have 2012, 10, 11, 12, 9. It could be the same uh, BMW X5. Uh, let's go to and see after service what we need to do. Actually, we changed the whole brakes. All the brake, we change it. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna start this car. The car is start. You see, check engine light is on. Also, uh, visit uh, store. Here is the, so the service that you see. And there is another code also you may get. The brake part. Brake part are worn to the minimum thickness. Have the part replaced by the nearest BMW center. Yeah, it replaced by our shop. That need to be uh, that also need to be reset. Let's diagnose the whole car, create a file. Okay, okay. We're using uh, let me answer the phone. Okay, we are uh, here as usual. So I don't know what we are saying before, but I forgot. But now let's go by VIN number. I'm gonna do auto detect. On the auto detect, we will see accept. And then you see, I see the VIN number come up. I will say, okay. This is E70, X E70. That means E70 is from 2007 all the way to 2012 or X5 E70, just let's go. And then I will say yes. Now I'm going to run the whole test to see what's wrong in the car. So this is your car. You need to know what about, and then we need to reset this one. This, this has some function that you can use those buttons here to reset this function and service. But if you have a tools, it's more clear and white and easy. 100%. Okay, I need to go to diagnose first. Oh, okay. I don't want control unit. I need to diagnose all car first to see what is this, what what this car has. This is the engine control module. It have 18 volt. ABS have three volt. So keep going. Everything is good. Good. No fault. No fault. No fault. Mm -hmm. That's good news. ABS one of the fault. Maybe history fault, and also to reset it. The ULF SPX interface, the scanning also no fault, it passed. And this car is healthy. So no fault, no fault, no fault, no fault. That's beautiful. Yeah, SMFA, driver's passenger. Okay, we have like one, two, three, four, and engine have a lot of code. So I'm gonna do the report first. The report, 18 fault on engine, three fault on ABS, and one fault on rear lid, you know that the lid, and footwell module have one fault, integrated automatic air condition have one fault. So now, this is the detail of the fault. The engine is say, exhaust variable, vanas, so there is some misfire, one, two, three, four, five, six misfire, several cylinder misfire, vanos camshaft timing, intake control fault, charging pressure control switch off consequences, Oil pressure control possibility, ABS, dynamic control, brake part wear, brake part wear, rear axle, front axle, mechanical parking brake interface. This also you have some problems. But mechanical parking brake interface, that's absent, and the lid, the rear lid lift button, internal lighting circuit open. There is a light inside in the back when you open the lid, there is a, there is a code there too. So let's go and I'm gonna go okay AC integrated automatic heating AC system right heating heat exchanger sensor Maybe this side here they have a problem But we are not going to consider those problems. I'm gonna go quick erase turn the key off Ignition on car off You 
You see now? Everything gone. Always do not consider anything code coming back uh, till it's come back again. So now if I start the car, I have only brake part codes, which is two now. One of the codes for the... So now here, what do you need to do? Active test. Reset control unit. I want to see. No, I don't need this. I'm going to go back. Uh, I'm going to go back now here. Yes. And then I go back. Go to service. On the service, we are going to see maintenance pre-delivery. Reset CPS condition based service. Data correction. I believe we have to do this. CPS reset. I want to reset this mm -hmm. brake part. Mm -hmm. He will show you that it's 100%, zero percent. So you need to do it for 100%. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It has some function that you can do it here. But I don't, I don't want to go there. Does that change all you know, everything? 28. This is a dead, it's okay. What happened to this one? Oh. Maybe you want to go inside, but... The, the, okay, you see here now? Oil change, 88%. From break, 0%. I need this to be service counter, to be 100%. 100, 100, 100, 100. So, okay, I'm going to go choose this. Sometimes you can reset all of it together, but it looks like I'm going to start by one. Reset. You see, be sure the sensor is good. You see now it does in it. You see he come hundred percent. I gotta do this also. Reset. If you do it and no problem with the with the sensor, you see there, it disappear right away. Hundred percent. Brake fluid. Reset. Okay, wherever it is, whatever something there. You see, hundred percent, everything hundred, hundred, hundred. Okay. And I don't see no code. Let me start the car. Everything is clean now. No message, no nothing. After a little while, the brake gonna finish. Mm -hmm. It's gonna turn the light on. You see, you're checking your light. Come back on. That means you have a code on the check engine light. In the engine, you have problem. I'm gonna go and look for it. You can answer. Let me see what I have on the engine. I'm going to go to diagnose or uh, control unit. This time I'm going to go to engine or transmission engine. We have some code. Maybe they come back. At least one will come back. And that needs to be taken care of. Okay. Charging pressure control switch. Exhaust variable camshaft timing control. Vanos call is not controllable. You have one and two codes. This need to be taken care of, both of them. What is that? You have them. I only see the codes, but I'm not sure what is the breakdown of it. This is the charging pressure. Let me see if there's anything. If you have internet, I can get you some information from Google search. A quick search. People have it. Everyone show the, the, the sensor where it's located. I see someone who have, I believe it have relation with this, with this quote here. I'm not sure what it is, but uh, it it needs some 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 time information. What need to be done? That means you have to start creating. Uh, look at the code. What that means? What it need to do? You you are you need to create a diagnosis test plan and break it down 
where you're gonna look for and what what need to be done. But you have this one and you need and you need to take it into consideration. This is we just look at it. We know we did a break for you. So okay. which one you looking at? No, the checking your light. Mm -hmm. It's okay, but the light is okay. I changed the oil. Uh, no, yeah, but still you have yeah. problem. You have, no, you yeah. have problem. Mm -hmm. You have a problem there. Yeah. You see, something have to be related to vanos solenoid. You see those solenoid here. Somebody already talking about it. There is two sensors inside. You need to be checked. You cannot just say this is wrong, but it, there is a way of checking it out. But I know that you have like like nine or eighteen faults. We delete everything gone, mm -hmm. but you have two code come back right away, and those code need to be taken care of it. So you're talking about this is about for what? What is it? About is? engine operations. There are some sensors are not working well in the engine. And he gave a quote, 2D55. 2D55, you will take the picture of this? You got it? Yeah, I take it. I take a picture of it. Even this video is going to be there too. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, so we need to, we need to, so you're going I'm going to tell my, I'm going to tell my, huh? yeah, the video is going to be there on, on, on your, on my channel. You are a member okay. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we need to take care of this to see what happened, what is the reason and what need to be replaced. For watching mobile electronic diagnostic, please subscribe, share and like. I will put an update and clarification of what needs to be done and what is the cause of those uh, two codes and see you in another video. Thank you. This is Muhammad Harun. Please subscribe, share and like and see you in another video.